Uh, I just wanted to let you know yeah. that we're going to be socks what? for the day. We're going to be socks right we're now. We're ready going and to do... down. Go. Hey, everybody. It's me. What up? Brian Mitchell. What up, dude? Thanks for tuning into the Skybound Insider, guys. I got a very good friend here today. <sighs> Stop. It's Leo Camacho. Yeah, it's me, Leo Camacho. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's me. Hey, so I hope everyone is rested up from San Diego Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a pretty big uh, weekend for the nerd community. It has. I yeah. mean, it's been a huge weekend for Skybound as well. Yeah, you guys have been all over the place. Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. Just to recap, we had our daily live stream and a yeah. slew of amazing panels and guests. So if you missed any of it, go to our Twitch channel at Skybound. Do it. And watch some of it. Watch the, watch the stuff. Fine, watch the whole days. Do watch it. every day. I have it on demand. Yeah. Well, actually, well, let me yeah, ask you. Is it on VOD? Yeah, it's on VOD. I didn't um, even know that was. Yeah. A thing. Well, it had to be because there's so much of it. I mean, why don't we check in on Ian and I's recap of the con? Good idea. Roll it. San Diego, a town of big dreams, big hearts, and big shoulders. Also, a town of big cons. San Diego Comic Con is here, and me and Brian are also here. There's so much to see and so much to learn. Let's do it. <laughs> Happy Purge! Yeah, happy Purge! Chucky is actually legit one of my greatest fears. I don't like dolls. This one's good. He's like three inches. We're fine. Does this look the same? Does it look the same? You okay? <laughs> Alright, we got the Ghostbusters Ecto Googles. Uh, we got the Ghost Man, the Ghost Man 1, the Ghost Man 2. From the hit feature Alien, Space Hugger. And finally, Edward Scissorman. You guys are good men. I appreciate your service. We're here with more than five boxes live, and we don't know what's in the boxes. Last I saw you, you weren't doing too hot. Yeah, I got my operation, got it fixed. Okay, he got you right above the waist. You didn't get a yeah. lower there? Yeah. yeah, they couldn't give me a lower half that was taller as my brother. So I'm, I'm, I'm living at 5'5 five five right now. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's a perfectly yeah. acceptable height. Thanks for tuning in live to San Diego Comic Con. We've had a blast. This has been a really fun time. Sure has. So, Leo. Yes. You're a big fan of Disney, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. So, it's safe to say that you have a big appreciation for animated films. Oh, yeah, totally. Anything animated, really. And other than animators, who else is responsible for some of our most beloved characters? Well, I mean, uh, probably the, the studio houses that help produce... Oh, you're talking about voice actors. That's why we're, that's why we're puppets. I, I, I get it. Bingo. And who is one of the best voice actors of all voices of all time? Obviously, it's Phil Lamar. Sure. You know that guy? He is. You know, I do. I yeah. do. You interviewed him. Leo, can you fill us in on some of his work? <laughs> of course I can. Dude, come on. Most famously, Samurai Jack. Yeah. He's also Hermes from Futurama. Yeah. He's also Static Shock. He's also Aquaman and Injustice. He's all over the place, man. He's prolific. Well, why don't we get to the interview then, shall we? Great idea. Roll it. Hey everyone, I'm Leo Camacho with uh, Skybound, and I'm here with Phil Lamar. Hey, prolific, man. legendary actor, entertainer. Wow, prolific and legendary, that's... Yeah. Uh, why'd you just say old? No. Just, just say old. Because I refuse to date myself. Ah. It's, not, it's not for your benefit. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your career. It's weird, because people always say, it's like, oh, how did you become a voice actor? I'm like, uh, I got a job on a cartoon and then another one. What did you, what did you uh, see yourself doing when you came out to, to pursue acting? What was sort of your goal? And, I mean, of course you said you tried everything, but did you have a general sense of what you wanted to do and, as opposed to what you ended up doing? No. The only goal I had in mind was I want to make my living as an actor. And through your career, how many variations of your own voice do you think you've done? Just rough. In the last few years, I've gotten more willing to do my own voice. Sure. Like there was a show, Foster's Home for Imaginary of Friends. Of course. Lauren Faust and Craig McCracken created. And they said, no, we want, I did the character of Wilt. They said, yeah. we want Wilt to just sound like you. 
and I was just like, okay. <laughs> and I just kept not doing my own voice. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, Let's play it he's back. a little spunkier than you, uh, than, well, than what you're speaking like, at now. So like, it's me. What if I was taller? Yeah, and so, stronger. Yeah, so, apart, yeah. you know, and of course voices change over time. I think Wilt started out kind of here, and then he just got, you know, longer and more imaginary. And oh, sorry, was that okay? You know, <laughs> to the point where it really doesn't sound like me at right, all. Right, right. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, I think Static from Static Shock is me at like 15. <laughs> teenage you. Right, Yeah. you know. Well, it's amazing you can sound like a teenage version of yourself, by the way. Oh, it's, it's no problem, man. Let's talk about Invincible. Oh yes, you're a big fan of that franchise. I've been, I've been uh, reading it since the start. So I want. So let's start right at the top. Sell me, because I've, I've I know of it. Invincible is in the sweet spot. It's old school superhero yes. enough of a okay. story. It's okay. it starts out kind of like Spider Man if he was Superman's son kind of thing. You know, okay. You've got the real teen angst, but you've got real world sort of consequences to powers and like oh do you tell people or do you not tell people all of that, but then. He doesn't quite go meta with it. Mm. It's not Alan Moore sort of Watchmen like, oh, let's you know, let's take these fifty stars and make them gritty and anti-heroes, you know. But what he does is he just tells a really interesting story. It's like, what if Superman wasn't quite so super? Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about superhero movies right. and a lot about uh, animated series. We know now that Invincible is going to be made into one of those. Uh, Seth Rogen is working on it and... Uh, Evan Goldberg? Evan Goldberg. Oh, okay. I hope they do it like as an animated film. Yeah, which one would you prefer? Animated? Yeah. Well, I would prefer animated because <laughs> like, then I'd have a chance to be in self -interest it. Self-interest dictates. Exactly. <laughs> it's funny because my fan casting for something like that is going to be totally different because I'm going to go with the actual voice actors that I know and love. Right. So who would you bring in? Um, <laughs> it's funny because his dad's Nolan. Um, it might be Nolan North. That hmm. would be weird. Yo, Polo here. Yeah, because he's got that sort of hero thing. Yeah, that smarminess. But he's also got a dark underbone. He could bring that dark undertone sure. out. Sure. Yes, you know, you've got that. You know, hi, I'm Superman. I'm yeah. you know, Omni Man. I'm a hero. Yeah. I am also taking over the Earth. You know. So that's how you. That's how you hear him in your that's, mind. That's that's how I hear him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, keep going. You know, because with this. because he's got that uh, you know that heroic thing, and you, yeah. you, you've got to hear that mustache in there. That, you, <laughs> Almost like the because that, you know, that that mustache <laughs> is not going anywhere. That mustache is in his voice. It's actually organically. He can't <laughs> shave it. It's part of his flesh. <laughs> exactly. Mark. Now that's that's the tough one. Yeah. I, I really liked your description earlier. You said he's Spider Man if he was Superman's kid. I guess I'll just have to play it. Uh, no. I, <laughs> You know, that's fine. Because, you know what? As the hero of the story, you know, it's gotta be somebody who's young, but somebody who's strong. Dad, what are you doing? You can't take over the planet. I gotta make I a call. You got, exactly. the, you got the part, so. And, well, Battle Beast, I gotta, I gotta go with Ted, Fred Tatashore. Okay. Fred uh, does the voice of the Hulk. If I do this, then you do something for me. And he, he just, I don't, I can't imagine anybody else giving you that sort of tigery kind of voice, you know, better than Fred. You know, just giving you that, because, I mean, that's hard to do. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, to speak out. words and have that growl going underneath, and Fred could do it all day. I'm actually hearing D Baker as Angstrom Levy, you know, more. Just because D has that, can get that sort of if crazed, you know, but incredibly intelligent yeah. sound. A normal guy who's also crazy. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, the immortal. No, that's who I'd play. I'd play him. The immortal? Yes, because you've got that, you know, I've lived ages, you know, sort of sound. I can, li I am living now. I've lived in ancient Greek times. I've lived all of these times, but I'm also a hero. Man, you nailed it. That was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Uh, Phil, thank you so much. Uh, this has been an absolute honor for me. Uh, it's also just been a lot of fun to geek yeah, out with you. it's been a pleasure, right? Man, that was really awesome, huh? Yes, Yeah. it, it was, sure was. Well, folks, make sure to go to skybound.com and check out the full interview there. There's a lot of really interesting stories and tidbits that you didn't get in the cut down in the episode, so make sure to become an insider, check it out, and watch it all. Smash that like button. Do what you gotta do. Let's have a blast. Well, Leo, thanks for coming out and being oh, on the show. No, 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 no. Thank you for having me. Where can people find you? Well, right now I'm currently located on Leo's hand. Because I'm a puppet. 
Oh yeah, that's fair. We, we can stand up now. We're back. Oh man, well, people, where can they find the real me? Find Leo now, Stop. where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram at Mr. Leo Zombie, pretty much everywhere there, and you can follow my Disney community channel at Thingamavlogs. Thingamavlogs? Yeah, it's like Thingamabobs. You know, I got 20, but we vlog, so Thingamav... It's the whole thing. <laughs> Uh, folks, make sure to go follow him, make sure to like this video, comment below with your favorite character that Phil Lamar has done, and any other character from animation that you want us to dig into a little bit deeper into the future. And as always, subscribe to the world of Skybound. Thanks for watching, guys! Later. <laughs>